We're at the Hanford Reach Museum, which features important Hanford history during the plutonium production era. This year, more history was made at the Hanford site, but of a different kind. FY 2017 was a significant year for CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company and its workers. A lot of cleanup work happened. And what is important about this progress is major work was completed on sites that played an important role in our nation's history. Safety and worker involvement is our top priority and key to our success. Some of our major projects worked more than 1 million safe hours in FY17, and CH2M received several awards, including a third consecutive National Safety Award for the Department of Energy Volunteer Protection Program, the Star of Excellence. This brings us a step closer to our goal of receiving the highest honor in safety for the Department of Energy, the Legacy of Stars, by 2018. The plutonium finishing plant played a major role in strengthening our nation's weapon supply, beginning in the 1940s. This year, explosives brought down PFP's ventilation stack. The most visible example of the demolition progress made this year at the historic facility, which made two-thirds of our nation's plutonium. And workers started demolition on the main PFP processing facility, the last major building to undergo demolition. It's exciting to be to this point. I'd just like to tell our, uh, tell our workforce, congratulations. This has been uh, a long time in coming and has taken a lot of effort. I'm as proud of this team with this accomplishment as I have been for any project that I've ever been on. Workers involved in groundwater treatment are protecting the Columbia River. In FY17, workers treated more than 2.2 billion gallons of groundwater and removed more than 145,000 pounds of contamination, which includes radioactive elements. To reach this success, workers found innovative ways to optimize Hanford's groundwater treatment systems. Treating 2.2 billion gallons is an incredible challenge. The team comes up with ideas, uh, constantly coming up with new processes. So this is the first job that I actually feel that the employees within the whole organization actually feel like they're making a difference. The K-West reactor sits along the Columbia River and has not operated in more than 30 years. It was one of nine reactors used to produce plutonium. Adjacent to the historic reactor is a concrete basin where highly radioactive sludge currently sits underwater. In FY17, workers installed more than 200 tools and pieces of equipment that will be used to remove sludge out of the basin and into safe storage in 2018. The project entered its startup and acceptance testing phase to ensure the equipment works as designed. Removing the sludge will allow the aging basin to be demolished and the K-West reactor to be decommissioned. We're proud to be here, but we understand the primary goal is to make our environment safer and to make a safer workplace for our workers that come to work here every day. The Waste and Fuels Management Project advanced preparations to receive sludge at T-Plant, installing and testing equipment and updating procedures. At the Waste Encapsulation and Storage Facility, crews finished grouting activities. The work stabilized legacy contamination to support the eventual transfer of almost 2,000 highly radioactive cesium and strontium capsules that are currently stored at the facility to dry storage. The 324 Building Disposition Project team entered the building's airlock for the first time in about 15 years to begin cleaning it out in preparation to remove highly radioactive soil beneath the building. The team also completed modifications to the mock-up where remote operated equipment will be installed for training and to ensure it works as designed before being deployed into a radioactive environment. More history was made this year at the 61810 burial ground. From 1954 to 1963, waste from Hanford's 300 area laboratories was disposed of at this waste site. Waste was disposed of in vertical pipe units known as VPUs in trenches. This year workers safely removed 94 VPUs, completed the final removal of 2200 drums, totaling over 205 thousand tons of waste. 
we appreciate have, being able to have ownership and to do a good job and to be appreciated. Hanford's regulated on-site landfill, the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility, known as ERDF, receives hazardous waste from projects across the site. For FY17, the ERDF team disposed of more than 263,000 tons of legacy waste. In May of 2017, the world's attention focused on the Hanford site when part of a legacy waste storage tunnel at the plutonium uranium extraction facility known as Purex collapsed. CH2M workers quickly mobilized to stabilize the tunnel and identify and implement long-term stabilization efforts. In FY17, our company aced the ISO 14001 audit, paving the way for the recertification audit next year. Our company was recognized this year receiving a Diamond Award for meeting all of our small business goals in FY16. Because of our team's outstanding efforts, CH2M's Supplier Diversity and Small Business Program is recognized as one of the best in the nation. More than 600 volunteers gave nearly 2,500 hours of their time in FY 2017, supporting fundraising and awareness events, walks, and golf tournaments. We've supported the Union Gospel Mission, the Ark of Tri-Cities, County Mountain Trails, Habitat for Humanity, Junior Achievement, Special Olympics, and Engineers Week, among others. CH2M employees are investing in our community, enhancing our future, and changing lives. A big thank you to our workforce and for its dedication for the protection of the Columbia River and the community that we live in. As we move into the new year, we will continue to make history by completion of several of our historical cleanup jobs, and we look forward to sharing that with you. Until next time.